Hi guys, I took off my makeup. I got home from TJ Maxx and I got some frozen yogurt and I decided to just take my makeup off. <laughs> so, I only got two things, two things from TJ Maxx. I was a good girl. I actually was almost, I was so close to buying a selenite tea light candle holder and it was really cute because it was a selenite where the sticks of selenite were like sticking up all over the place so it just kind of looked like it was like like pokey you know like selenite pieces sticking up everywhere and then in the center of it was a tea light holder where you could put the candle but it was priced at $19.99 and I felt like $20 was way too much for the candle holder it was really cute it was probably as wide as like my cup, um, but it for 20 bucks and it's just selenite. Selenite you could buy really cheap in the crystal shops and stuff. I just thought that that was a bit much. Um, and so I was like, maybe if it was like a quartz or if it was like an amethyst, definitely, <laughs> then 20 bucks would be reasonable. But selenite, eh, I was not very much sold on that. So I thought it was poor, priced poorly. If it was priced at like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, then I would probably buy it. But $20 was a bit much. So um, so I passed on it last minute and then I was still kind of browsing because I was like, oh, I don't wanna leave here with nothing. <laughs> um, so I went over to my, of course, my second favorite area in TJ Maxx, which is the stationary stuff. Because you can always find really, really cheap stationary or like notepads like if you're like me and you like to take notes like I like to take notes I like to write lists I like to do lists for my grocery shops shopping and stuff so which reminds me I should have bought a notepad for that but <laughs> next time um but I, I like to check the um the stationary aisles for that so I was looking and then I was looking in the clearance section and I found this so it's a 2020 Daydreams and Big Plans Planner. It's 2020 Agenda. Um, I still have the price tag on it. It was on it was on sale because the, the planner itself is pretty beat up. <laughs> um, I'll have to take it off after. It's pretty beat up. It has some markings on it, like like as if someone was writing on the top and then they like the they wrote too hard and you can feel like the imprints of the, the pen or whatever. So it's a little beat up. The, the edges right here are kind of frayed. So it's definitely, um, it looks like it's been used, but it's not used because it's not been written in or anything. Um, so it, it's, <laughs> it's beat up. So it was on the clearance rack and it was super, super, super cheap. And I really liked this planner for two reasons. One, it has a pocket on the front. Two, okay, for one reason, so maybe three reasons. One reason because of the spiral bound. Um, so um, the planner that I use right now, actually, let me just show you guys because I have it right here. So I'm really big on um, keeping track of stuff with my for my tarot business. So I have, this book has all of my tarot spreads in it, like the newest ones and my Halloween spreads. I have another journal where I have more spreads in it, but this is my newest one because I filled up the other one. And then um, I have this spiral bound notebook where I keep all of my client questions. So I write down their name and the question that they have and I'll write down their email so I remember, so I have easy access to it while I'm doing the reading. And then this one is the planner that I used this year for 2019 for Cackling Moon. Um, I think I bought this one. I think I found this one at Barnes and Noble and I just added stickers to it. And um, and I have, and it's just, it's just really pretty. It's like galaxy looking. It's a really pretty planner. Um, it's not spiral bound, so it had, you know, it's, it's, but it was easy enough for me to like fold it backwards. So I really like that. But what I'm looking for planners, and let me make sure, let me open to a page that doesn't have anybody booked in there. <laughs> so when I'm looking for planners for Cackling Moon, I like to look for things that have large spaces for the days. Um, so like this is the 21st of October. So I like to um, look for things that have a lot of a large space for the days. 
so that I can write in the client's name, the price of the reading, so how much they bought, how much their reading costs, the name, their name, and then what, what reading they bought. So that's how I keep track. Um, and I do it each day. I didn't fill it in. I have like two that I'm supposed to fill in here. So I'm gonna, I gotta do that. <laughs> but, um, and then I went ahead and I added like some of the major transits. So this is the moon, hit, um, the sun is in Scorpio as of the 23rd, which is Wednesday. Um, so yeah, so when I'm looking for a planner for Cackling Moon, it's my business planner. It has to have large spaces for the days so that I can write in client bookings because depending on the month like I'll just do a quick one like depending on the month <laughs> I get a lot of bookings um some some months I don't some months I have you know one or two but for the most part I get a pretty full um a pretty full page of client bookings and I like to have a lot of space this is a little insert I have in my um, tarot biz it's a list of all of the decks that I own so every single time I get a new deck I add it to the list so I have the tarot and then I also have um, another page for the Oracle so I just I like to keep that with my tarot biz book um, one thing that I really really liked about this planner in particular is that it had a lot of just like it's called scribbles but it had a lot of sections with just lined um so i could write notes and i, I actually filled up the majority of this part um when i was planning my tarot course and then of course i keep track of like you know how much money did did tcm bring in for the year for 2018 i have it from 2017 i have 2018 and 2019 stats um i have like a part a portion for youtube video ideas um, and then I did a lot of notes for my tarot course. So that was like when I was planning it all. So I really like to have the note put, the note stuff for that, but um, not all the planners have it. So, and it was small. So this was small. I could just throw this in my purse really easily. Um, this one is a little bit bigger. This planner is a little bit bigger from um, this one and it's a little bit chunkier, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it has space to put my appointments and, and everything in. I really, really liked that the front part of this planner has a pocket. Um, so I could definitely slip in like that insert where I have my decks that I keep a list of. It has a pocket on the other side so I can also, you know, add some notebook paper in there if I need to. Um, and then it gives you like the calendar for 2019 because this planner starts at... Um, it starts at August. You know how sometimes the, the planners will like start mid-year from that the year that you're currently on? So it does that, um, which I don't mind. I mean, I can always like rip these out if I wanted to. <laughs> um, and or that means I could start, I could just start using it now if I wanted to. Sometimes I do that. So every month at the beginning of the month, it has like for this one, this is October, 2019. So at the beginning of the month, it has a page where you could put your October goals, October to-do list, um, October birthdays, anniversaries, and then additional notes there at the bottom. So I really like it because I could probably utilize this list for like putting um, upcoming sales that I have for that month for TCM, or I could also put the totals. So for October, I could put like the total um, income that was brought in for the month of October at the very end when I tally everything up. So I could actually utilize the, this that portion. And then when you get into after you get into that first portion then you get the actual calendar so you'll have for october you'll have the, the calendar for october and then this is cool because i like to use the calendar parts like this for writing in like i said a random appointments or i like to put my work schedule and then my husband's work schedule this way i kind of know when he's working when i'm working and then what days i'm i'm dedicating to tcm and all of that kind of stuff um, so that's kind of cool that it has that. And then <laughs> after you get to through the calendar part, then you start with each individual day. So this is what literally sold me on this planner, not just because it was super cheap, <laughs> but for the first of October, look at all that space I have. So this is where I can literally write the client's name, the price of the reading and what reading they bought. And it's, it just helps me keep it organized. I love having large sections like this because if I get like three, four, five, 
orders in a single day. A lot of times, like if I do a flash sale, I'll have a shit ton of orders that come through. So it just gives me extra space to, to write all that stuff in um, and it doesn't get all crammed in. So as much as I like like the tiny little planners, um, you know, like the little pocket size ones, it's not feasible for me. Like I need a bigger space for my stuff. So this is, this is probably the biggest I would want to go. I wouldn't want to go like larger than this because then it's just too bulky and I don't, I can't carry it with me. Like I can't throw it in my purse. This I can still throw in my purse because it's like not super big, but it's, you know, I throw a lot of shit in my purse anyway. So, <laughs> um, so then that's what each month has. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. So then you go, it goes throughout the month and then it goes into, oh, it does have a notes section. So at the end of each month, it has a notes section there. So that's kind of cool. I actually like that too. Um, Cause then I can utilize that. So yeah, um, I also really like that it has the tabs because how many times am I searching for the right month when I'm opening up my planner, you know? So it's kind of cool that it has the tabs for this. I really like it. It's fancy. It's cute. It's just white with peach colors and like little pinks. And I really like that it has, um, that it has the rainbows on the cover because I just think that that's super cute. But what I end up doing with my planners is I usually throw on a sticker or like, or, you know, something. Maybe I could peel... Maybe I could peel off my little hermit sticker. I don't know. I might have to order another one, but <laughs> um, I just like to, you know, make it my own. Sometimes I'll, I'll stick on like a tarot deck there, like a tarot card or whatever, but um, I like it. I, I'm happy with it. So I'm happy with my discounted planner. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know some people would be like, oh, I, I wouldn't buy it because it's like dented or whatever, but it's a disc it was at a discount. And so... Perfect. I like it. So I'm, I'm glad. So that is what I'm going to be using for, um, for TCM. <laughs> really excited over that. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just, I guess I just wanted to show you guys my new TCM planner. Um, because it was one of those things where it was like, I wasn't planning on finding it today. <laughs> Usually I, I go searching for my planners, maybe like in December when I'm like on a crunch, like I need to find something to start putting my orders in for January. Um, but I found mine early, so I'm happy. Um, I have another planner. I actually, at Barnes & Noble, I actually bought one of those smaller pocket planners. But I think I'm going to use that one to help me keep track of the finances because me and my hubby are going to be starting like a whole new um, budget, kind of a, a plan for our budget and a plan with like savings and, and all of that. So I think having a little pocket calendar to throw into my purse will help because the one I bought, which I thought originally I was going to use for TCM, it's smaller. It's smaller than the one I currently have. Um, a lot smaller, but... I think it might be too small. Now that I see like the spaces that are in this one, I think I will be much more comfortable with this. So yeah, I'm a planner whore, you guys. <laughs> I love planners. Um, I like to be organized. I like to put things, write notes and highlight and all of that. I just get really dorky and it's just such an obsession. Um, but I think I'm good. Like I think I found TCM planner for 2020. It's always exciting because I always think like, Ooh, what is TCM's planner going to look like this time? And I should post older videos because if you guys actually look in my older videos when I talked about business planners and stuff, the one that I used, the ones that I used to use from 2015, 2016, they were big. I used to always buy them at Target. They were like $14 and they were like the eight by 11 size planners. Um, and I really liked them because like I said, the spaces for the month were huge and that was like what I really needed. But I just got tired of lugging around like a big ass like planner. And so when I, I think this one was the first one that I bought that was significantly smaller than what I was used to. And um, it worked, it worked for me. So this one will be fine, I'm happy. Yay! Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to throw on a video. I needed to just like share that with you and come on here and just put a video out and all of that. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.